Good evening. We're on Sunday, 16th of May, 2021. I'm doing the third meditation for the evening, and it's uh, daily meditations with Saint Augustine. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, through the grace of adoption chose me to be a child of light. Grant, I pray, that I may not be shrouded in the darkness of demons, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of the freedom that I have received from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. May our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The reading for the 16th of May, the title, He is not absent, if he is held in the heart. If Christ were to be presented to us now and stand right here before us and say nothing, how would we know who he was? If he said nothing, what good would that be for us? Is it not better for him to speak in the gospel, though absent, than to be present and say nothing? And yet, he is not absent. If he is held in the heart, believe in him, and you see him. He is not in front of your eyes, he is in possession of your heart. The prayer, how great is your glory, O Christ, as you ascend into heaven. Amen. I just love St. Augustine. Oh. Psalm 145. My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in the powerful mere mortals in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. They are happy who are helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord, their God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is the Lord who keeps faith forever, <coughs> Excuse me. who is just to those who are oppressed. It is God who gives bread to the hungry. The Lord who sets prisoners free. The Lord who gives sight to the blind. Who raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just. 
that thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever. Zion's God from age to age. Word of the Lord. Psalm 146. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is nothing. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve our needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warriors' strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. The word of the Lord. Psalm 147. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem, Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for listening. May God bless you. I'm sending you God's peace in abundance and healing prayers. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And if you can't join me live at 8.30, please say a few prayers for the ceasefire of war between Israel and Palestine and particularly the suffering people in Gaza. I know for a fact before last night the number of women that had been killed was 34 but I've forgotten what my goddaughter said the number of children there are a number of children who have been killed in the bombing it's very stressful psychologically mentally emotionally it's very stressful for them and uh, not knowing when a bomb might hit and where they're not being warned anymore as in past and uh, it's, it's terrible and it's sad. Just, we must just pray that the, that the war stops.
and then they can deal with the political situations which have not been resolved since 1948. Nothing has improved. It's got worse. So thank you and bless you, and don't forget to pray for against all wars everywhere. Thank you. Bye bye.